Hello guys and girls, Voices from the Dark here. The reason we're starting this out with this menu right here is because we are laying siege to Alcala. Alcala J-Town. And in J-Town, they have 362 men and like half of those are crossbowmen. So the lines, the walls are going to be filled with lines of crossbowmen. We have about... 500 men, 400, 500 men, so we outnumber them, but as we've seen, they've been very good at shooting down our attacks in the, in the past, and I struggled taking a castle that just had a little over 100 men. So just how this is going to go, I don't know, but this battle is going to be the deciding factor in this war. All I can say is, may the hell fury and gods be with you. Men! Quickly! You see the ladder, men. We did not have enough brains to build more than one, but that will not matter on this day. Archers! Hold this hill. Hellguards! Follow me. Once you breach the walls, I need you to come with me. Rayek is going first up the walls. That's very brave of you, Rayek. I'm glad I recruited you. Maybe we can let the past be the past and... Keep your shields aimed high. And hopefully don't get sniped. And here we go! Rayek is knocked out! That was five seconds, that's the new personal record for him! Here we go! Try hard mode, activate! Take them out, they seem confused. They're like, what, there's somebody up on a wall? This is not supposed to happen, this is not in my script! I don't get paid enough to do this. Here. This is good! They have peasants! I'm not seeing any sharpshooters. I'm seeing peasants upon peasants of Rodakians. Oh, let's back up a little bit here. That's the problem with having sharpshooters is that they just wait for the moment where you raise your sword so they can pierce your butt full of bolts or your face rather. They don't even have the decency to aim for your butt. They just go for the face. All right, so we need to be quick now. While our men are climbing up the ladders, we need to quickly take control of these little towers where they fire their deadly rains of bolts down on me. Because if we cannot take out these, then we will lose hundreds and hundreds of men in pointless skirmishes. Yeah. So quickly. I have everybody with me here. Behestur, Rolf, Metheld. The Hellguard is here. The entire Hellguard is here to make me win the battle. Whoever posted in the comments that I should bring the Hellguard with me up on the walls. You're really awesome. Because that's a great idea. Alright, good work, Hellguards. This way, this way. Uh... I didn't mean to press that button, let's just have infantry charge, it doesn't really do a lot. Now we need to go to the other side, we need to take out those crossbowmen, because if we can take them too, we will have truly stopped their bolt train, because it's still an issue for our men coming up the ladders here. Out of the way, out of the way, I think that was Count Tyria right there that got knocked out. Here we go. Yeah. So, oh. I'll try and not take any bolts to the face. I said bolts, not balls. But this is going to be a challenge. Here. Oh god. Yeah, it's going to be a challenge indeed. I'll just have to use my back shield for this. And hope that nobody can uh, have the decency to sh or like the brains to shoot at my feet. Alright, can I get everybody with me in this battle? Good, 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 good. Here we go. Now I don't just have the Hellguard, I have my entire infantry force right here. Also, uh, let's send the archers up on the walls now. So I think they can do more good from this that position actually. So push through, push through, push through. They are going to reinforce down in the middle. They have about 400 men. So it looks like we're winning the initial battle here. It's good. We just need to really keep our eyes open for any potential sneaky tactics that they might have. So quick. First of all, clear the walls of all crossbowmen. No crossbowmen can be allowed to live because if they lose that advantage, things are going to look very well for us. Alright, my men can now get up the walls uncontested, but we have a new reinforcement wave. There's a lot of men over there. Was that all from reinforcements? So I was wrong, they do not come from downstairs. Okay, good to know. This is where they- oh, damn it! I should've taken out that guy when I saw him, I thought he was part of my team. So we need to help them with the little charge here, there's gonna be some people falling down the cracks here. You know what? We need some proper battle tactics, men! Catch me! Hell! 
Hey now, Harold's a rock star. He's gonna kill all the row dogs, slashing all the heads. Gonna chop up some skulls. Oh, your blood is gold. I can pay the price of war with it. Didn't make a lot of sense. All right. I'm here to give my men morale, fighting in the front lines with your greatest commander. That's how it should be. I can hear Mathel yelling, maybe it's a sword sister, I don't know. All I know is that this is such a bloody battle. Keep fighting, keep fighting. Please do not let me catch an arrow to the head right now, or an arrow in the knee for that matter. No bolts shall pierce me tonight. Only the bolt of joy I feel when I call this castle mine! Hey, yeah! I don't actually think Harold needs to take any more towns, considering we have Uxkal, and Uxkal gives us so much money. Maybe, I think it would be like, overstretching with greed to take any more towns and call them our own. Okay, so our, our main bulk there got eliminated. So they're gonna be pushing up now. We killed a lot of them though. Alright, Swadian Knight. Keep at it. Okay, so I can get surrounded here. Careful! Oh! Let's get a new shield up. They managed to push us back. It looks like we did pretty well, but they still managed to take us out. They just have so many men right there, so we need to stay strong. And I want to double check. They don't have any crossbowmen, right? Yeah, they don't. Alright. The archers are uh, keeping my... Freaking hell. The archers are keeping my men from advancing. My own archers, actually. So I need to tell my archers to back up just a little bit. As you can see, it's, getting, it's difficult for people to get through. Back up over there, archers. That should make this a little bit easier. And a little more... Uh, easy yeah, easier to see, basically. Okay, they've lost... 190 men. Which is like, almost... They've lost about half. Like, half of their force is gone. Which is good. We do not have anywhere near those casualties. Freaking hell, man! Screw it then, I'll just lay here. <laughs> I couldn't get past and I'm impatient. Alright, but it, it's it's going quite well. We are rushing in. We have about 30 men in total dead. But we have taken about 60 plus wounded men. They, their death count is now rising above 200. As you can see, we're just slaughtering them down. They got reinforcements here. But we have all of our top tier infantry knocking them down one by one. I was very worried about this battle, but it... Looks like it might turn out okay in the end. <laughs> when I talk a lot, I get hiccups, which is, like, very bad considering the sort of business I'm into. The business of Let's Playing. Oh, oh, we got some people coming here. Hello? So, there's just so many of them that are falling down now. He's, oh, he's gonna be down there and sniping. It's not very nice of him. I wish I could move this camera. I wish I could have a free float camera. That would be really nice. Oh. Yeah, he's gonna be firing at my archers now. That kind of sucks that they fell down there, because that gives them a nice spot to be able to, like, snipe up at my own ranged troops. I do not like that very much. But hey, being dead on the ground here beats having to, like, start this battle over again, right? Just with, you know, less men. They've lost 240 men, more or less. As you can see, they have more men than us, though. They are reinforcing at an insane speed, so if we could get some reinforcements, too. I just have two of my troops in the battlefield right now. One more troop... And I'll need some more uh, reinforcement from my side here. So they have 68 ready. They have, yeah, twice the numbers. Scary. Alright, time for us to get some uh, fresh troops on the battlefields. Yeah, they've been able to push us back significantly. I really wish I didn't die, man. So they're starting to take their position again on the wall. That's what I was scared of, that the battle might turn like this. Because now we more or less have the same amount of troops at the ready. Look, we have this random guy standing down here in the ditch instead of actually doing something useful up on the walls. I think he's practicing some sort of moonwalk. Not really sure. No, he's just running away. No, no, he's running in circles around the tree now. Oh, no, now he wants to battle. All right, he just had to get his bravery on. I'm trying to find it. All right, this way we can see the numbers pretty well. We have about 90 men wounded, 50 dead, they have 250 dead. 
and they have 50 ready, which means that after this they should have about 60 or so more reinforcements ready. No, considering these numbers, maybe 30 or so more reinforcements. We have enough men to do this. The only thing that could lose us this battle is if they manage to get a good grip on the walls again and place their sharpshooters in bad positions, because I don't know how many of their troops have been sharpshooters so far, because I know they have at least like 22 sharpshooters. Oh, damn. Yeah, you go, Swadian Knight. Alright, good work. Oh, sorry about that, Swadian Knight. Alright, more reinforcements. This is looking good. Now we outnumber then. This is slowly becoming a winning battle. I'm really sorry about dying. I'll be more careful from now on. I just, I get really caught up in the whole thing. And I, oh, damn, I want to be reckless. At least we can get some nice shots of the um, falling Rodakians. So, we this is really nice. I like the cinematic angle here. Oh, you think you can win this war. You think you can win this war. You think you can be sneaky with your freaking sharpshooters on the walls. Tell my waffle lover. Well done, men. I have a feeling, yeah, seven more troops are about to run out. They should have one more wave of reinforcements, I think. Considering their numbers. Oh, we won! Nice! Good work, men! I'm, I'm, I'm down here! Awesome. Alright, let's check this out. We lost 13 men. Our allies lost about 52 men. Oh, they resist us in the streets! I should have figured. This is where their last batch of uh, reinforcements went. Yeah. Yeah. Luckily, they're melee, so we won't have to worry too much about crossbow. Oh, bolts! At least so far. Oh, careful! Oh, oh snappity, snoopity, snapper, blah, blah, blah. Oh, freaking hell, man. Are you serious? Are they managing to push us back? That that Nord's gonna be in trouble pretty soon. I mean, he's a Hooskarl, but those are four... Hooskarl? Who's... Damn it, no promotion for you. I was gonna make you a super Hooskarl. I was gonna give you a cape and all. Okay. Town center is yours. The remaining defenders. Okay. So it still counts as a victory. Alright, let's be careful here now. I have no health here, so I need to be extremely careful if I want to win this. Uh, no, I, there's no way I can win this. I can't. Uh, uh. I need to time all of my attacks perfectly if I want to do this. Uh. Uh. Freaking hell! They got through. How hard? There were two against five, not four. There's probably a guy in the back there, too. Yeah. I think I see something green. Ugh. Alright, so here's the count. I'll take him prisoner. I lost a lot of morale, though, but did I still get it? I'll take you prisoner, too. He got away, though. Okay, so they didn't like how the battle ended. I think it got a very... It started off as the most epic battle of the series, but it slowly, like, deteriorated into just a mess. <laughs> but it's okay. We did it. Let's hire... Let's get a hired plate. Ooh, let's breathe out a little. I need to breathe out. Let's capture some of these people here. Sharpshooter, veteran crossbowman... It's all looking good. Okay, Vager Marksman. Look for the top tier people here. A Lancer. <gasps> and... <clears throat> Vager Guards, they're pretty cool. Men at Arms, good. Swadia Knight, Vager Knight. Let's get one of those... Um, Invincible Serenid Master Archers, Mercenary Swordman, Swadian Sergeant, Serenid Horseman, Veteran Footman, and who shall be the last ones? I, I don't want the freaking Kurgis. Vega Horseman, and Vega Archer. Followed by the last troop of the day. Probably, I'm probably too picky with people like this and spend too much time, but... 
Swat in infantry, yay. All right. We got it at long last. The ending got extremely messy, and I apologize about that, but it, it turns out that even though you lose that, you actually get the plays, which is pretty nice. Town is ours! Ba -ba -da -ba. All right. Go to the marketplace. Oh, they have some... They have a good selection of food here, that's good to see. So my immense morale isn't great after we lost two battles in here in a row. Smoked fish, just what I like. Should I sell the bread? It's like I'm trading the bread for other pieces of food. It's okay, I have the money to do it. Alright, there we go. Now I shouldn't have to buy anything for a long freaking time. Balanced Serenid Guard Sword. Less weight. I don't know what like determines a swing. It's very fast. I, I like the one I have right now. Sword of War. <laughs> Damn. That's pretty scary stuff. I'll, I'll keep the one I have. I don't think I'm gonna find anything more than what I have right now. No, anything better. It's ours! The city is ours. We managed to push them back. Until their little... Their little peninsula here. This is rather interesting. I'm trying to think what to do... What to do next? What do we do from here? I mean, it's... We, we, we can't let up now. The battle continues. The question is, are my men ready for um, a big battle like this? I... I need... some of my men need to rest. They really do. Okay. I should give this to somebody though to prevent them from attacking it. So how many castles? Etrusk and one, two... Three. So one, two, three castles. Three castles in a town. We should probably take those castles as we move towards the town. Hmm. Alright. I know there's been a lot of war now, but we need to push this advantage while I still have everybody with me. Let's ride out. Oh. He's coming straight towards me. I can't catch up with him, but I can chase him away. Yeah, they're gonna besiege it immediately. I figured. We need more troops here. Uh. Lord Nizar. I have a new task. Can you patrol around this place. So he's gonna patrol and make sure nobody gets any funny business while I assign this to somebody from uh, Uxkal. So hopefully he can keep them in check for that long. Another Huskarl ready to join. This is nice. Can I get there without any complications? Perfect! Alright, so he managed to keep them off me. Let's take a little trip to the tavern now. Uh, tavern keeper. Prisoners. I have so many people in my captivity right now. I probably shouldn't give them back anything at any sort of price. Unless it was like 30,000. Even, I mean, I make so much I shouldn't give in. But what I should really do is that I should place away some of these people. I think I'm building like a prisoner tower at the moment in this town. I don't know when it'll be done though. Can check that. Seventeen days. All right. Place away some of these less than good people. Now I'm not sure if I have enough people to give to give more of them out to my soldiers. I think I've sort of reached a point where I want to be careful about doing that again. Let's see, let's place some of these guys a bit taller up. 
And the random ones, I kind of want them to die first, because they look... They make my list look weird. Let's get those Mamluks, shall we? Okay, here we go, here we go. Let me just think a little about what we want to do next. Considering that the cities are so big, like that city was like three times the size of Almera Castle. I might want to go for the castles first. Take those and then Yalen would be all trapped in. Question is, which one would we go after? From Uxkal, it's a really short ride to Kulmar. Though I'll have to give Rialkala to somebody to make that place safer. But before I can decide that, I gotta check my lords. I wanted to kind of give it to Nicer so he could protect it since he's already going around there, but... It was Rayamal, wasn't it? Yeah, he was the most... Let's, let's get a new person now. Let's get a new lord on our team. I don't think that'll hurt. Is there anybody here I've met in the past who I kind of like? Any Nords? Druli. Plice. I don't know about you, Plice. Swadian scum. Belgaru. Ruckabarth. I like his name though, Ruckabarth. Um, Ruckabarth. Okay, so... I think I will accept you, Ruckabarth. Sure. Alright, let's let's have Rockabarth Rockabarth Barth on our team, because I, I just I like his name. So I'll give a little town to Rockabarth. Okay, so now he likes me 13. I still gotta give more to him to make him really like me, because he wasn't really fond of me to begin with. So now Rockabarth is 28. Okay, so Rayamald. I feel like I should give him another city. I, I, I give the towns before the castle itself. Um, I don't know why I do it, I just feel like it's safer, because I'm scared if I give the castle, I'll give the towns to Tansugai. Tansugai has been doing well. I haven't seen him lately, though, but I'll give him the castle. Alright, so we now have a new lord, and the lord is reasonably happy with us. Maybe aware, Sai, of the quarrel between Despin and Tansugai. Let us discuss another topic. Because I don't want to get involved with that. Okay. Let's see, what do I go to King Ragnar? But I wish to express my goodwill. I'm gonna send out Rolf and be like, Yo, Ragnar, sup? Loved your barbecues, man. I think I just want to, like, make sure that I strengthen our relationship with the Nords, because... An attack would not be very well at the moment. Okay, is there anything else we would like to do here now? With Rolf out of our party, we, we need to keep the spot open in case he comes back and we don't have the space for him. Alright, so I know we've been on a campaign for a little while now. Um, the map is glitched a little bit, can I fix that? Halfway fixed at least. Oh look, it's a black, it's a black sea. No, it was just a terrible oil spill. With jagged edges even. Uh, Kulmar Castle is what I'm thinking about here. Yelkala. Wait, is this under siege? Since when? Alright, it's no longer under siege. There we go. Alright. Nizar. I wanted to get Nizar back on my team right now. Yes, I have a new task for you. Follow me. Because we need to keep pushing this attack. We can't send people home yet. Not done. Here's our force. Our force is ready. Now let's hope they don't attack that place. Captain, I returned from my mission to King Manors. In general, I was like, King Ragnar wishes to be at peace as to pursue the war against the Serenids. He refers to you as Harold Helf, you're omitting any title. Yeah, he's still like, he's still like, he doesn't want to like, Recognize us as a true lord, but oh, mm, 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 mm. that's what I like to see. Let's check this out. Character renown, nine hundred. That should be pretty good, though. 
You are the king of health your allegiance. My estates, renown, right to rule, 43. I think right to rule goes up to 100, and that's the max. So I'm almost like halfway. I would think I would have more, but... The Kyrgyz and Serenids, I'm just indifferent with. <laughs> All right. All right, let's 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 move on. I'm kind of scared of Jalkala having very little people here. Maybe I should have left Nysar there. Okay. So when it says plus 229, does that do you see that number? They have captured 141 mountain bandits and are keeping them in their dungeon. <laughs> wow, I gotta save those poor bandits, man. So, lots of crossbows. 150 crossbowmen. Uh, some shitty Kyrgyz. And a couple of melee units. Very little... Not very ma mm. Okay. Definitely takeable. Okay, but there is something I would like to do, though. Um, I need somebody to go and protect the the, the, the place. Rayek, you're not really bringing a lot to the table, are you? Rayek, can you go and uh, patrol? Just to make sure that we won't lose Jelkala. Thank you. He will probably not be able to stop a lot, but just hopefully he can stop some uh, minor forces. Let's see, can I get everybody here? Screw you. Okay, I have four lords at my team, at my side rather. We've taken castles before. We have taken castles before and it has turned out okay. I was a bit scared because you never know how these things are going to go. And I think some of my men might still be a bit wounded. I think Harold himself is not 100% healed. Hmm. But I think we will have to uh, assault, because we need to keep up the pressure now. We can't just kind of... If we chill, they're going to go and try and take back what was theirs. I don't want that to happen, so we're going to push the attack. How much health do... Oh, we actually had time to heal. That is very good. We have the battle advantage here, which is good. It means we're going to deploy more than they are. Archers! Hear me! Up on the hill! All right. Oh man, this is this is gonna be bad. I'm first in line here. Actually, somebody else can go first for once. Enjoy! I'm actually gonna be okay with them going first. Alright, now I can go. I don't wanna be to- oh. I don't wanna be totally first. Push! Here. Alright. Go, go, go! Keep pushing! I'll let them kind of take the first blow and uh, knock them up a little bit. Because we see how it goes when I'm the first one up the walls, right? Although I have a plan. I'm going to rush over here and take out the crossbowman as soon as I can. As soon as... I'm ready! There we go! Hoo. Right, straight to the face. Yeah, stabbed in the face. And I'm to blame. You gave soldiers a bad name. You really do, Rodox, I'm sorry. Oh. On the defensive side, you're doing quite well, but as soon as I get up close, you're all like, No, don't attack me, I'm so scared now. I let him hit me in the back there. Not very good. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> damn it. These guys... Did you just knock me down? Ugh, I can't... Where are my Hellguard? I need you. I'm being harassed! They're bullying me. God damn it, god damn it. <sighs> I so wanna swear right now. I so wanna scream profanities at them. Right. Here we go. Me and you, Swadian Knights. We got this. Oh no, they got clubs. I'm so scared. Okay, they have some rather long spears here. That's more scary. Alright, they don't seem to care about me too much. Let's just back up a little bit. No, Mathilde's gonna fall down into the stables. She's gonna be reborn as baby Jesus. This might be a good thing, actually, having Jesus on our team. I don't know if, about his combat skills, but we would be able to get a lot of free wine. Which is always good. 
Although all of all of all of us would be drunk before every battle, which would be less than ideal. Alright, I think actually this turned out okay. Um, looks like the men have been able to follow me quite well, and we've been able to run around the. Can you move your ugly Kurgi? Oh, I mean Swadian face. You're. <laughs> I was about to say I thought you were Kurgi because you're ugly, but I feel like that's very racist. <laughs> oh well, Harold Health here is a bit of a racist. Okay, he's from the north. Like we're not known to be the most tolerant people. Our Yarg. Of course, there are exceptions. There are always exceptions. Let's just knock out these guys. Like, they think they look good because they're all dressed in green. But little did they know, green is the color of boogers, man. Did you not consider this when you got dressed in the morning? Or did everybody just kind of show up to war and they were like, Oh, you're wearing green? I thought I was supposed to wear green today. And then, like, bitch at each other for wearing the same outfit. That's probably what happened. Alright, the battle is going on inside the castles. Archers, charge! I assume when I ask archers to charge, they will get up on the walls and then start firing and not go into melee combat. Oh, damn! Here they all are, huh? Apparently so. At least I can get some free backstabs. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's right, back up in- wait, where do my men go? Come on, men! Back up. Continue backing up, continue backing up, and you had the uh, element of surprise, but you still failed me, Swadian Militia. Yeah. Damn it. I gotta be careful about those Swadian Sergeants there, if that's what- no, not Sw I mean the Rodok uh, Sergeants, I think. I can't remember their name. They can be scary. Oh, they have quite the force here. I gotta say, are we ready? Is everybody ready? Prepare for the arrow rain! Keep pushing! Alright, men, while you go for the main bulk of enemies, I'm gonna try and get up the staircase in the back here and take out the ones up on the walls, because I think my men are gonna struggle a bit with those if I don't do it myself. After I've just given a few pokes here and there. Alright, I'll leave him be now. I couldn't get him. I was hoping to finish him in that one blow, but I guess not. Yep! Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There's one guy up there, actually. Not more. It's still a pain, and I'll take him out, and it gives me a good overview. Look at this. This is like the perfect, perfect Rodox castle, man. They've been able to be very tactical from uh, from this position that they have. Oh, that's bad. Is it possible to get archers up here? All the archers gather up here. Because I'm getting some reinforcements now. While in the meantime, I'll try and sneak behind these enemies here. I don't think anybody sees me up here, so... <gasps> he said, lowering his shield and immediately taking two arrows to the back. Yeah, they see me here. Don't worry, we're getting reinforcements. It might look dire, but... Shit on a stick, man. Let's hide up here and have a look at the numbers. Okay, they've lost 138, we lost 40. We have about the same amount of men ready. But it's not a clear victory by any stretch of the imagination right here. Alright, just making uh, sh sure I know how the layout here looks. As you can see, Herald Hellfury is a lot faster now because we don't have the same amount of shields. So, having slow armor and lots of shields slows you down, but we've seen how invaluable it can be. So here we go, now that our main bulk is coming, we really need to be a very good distraction. Let's start from the back, and hope it takes a long time before the enemy realizes that we're here. That's going to be our best bet. Distract them as best we can. Oh, did we manage to breach? I think we managed to breach their lines a little, that's good. Yep, there's chaos among the ranks now, they're not sure what to do, whether they should stand, move, go melee. And I'm gonna help add to that chaos, and not let them keep up their firing. If I die now, or get knocked out rather, it's uh, it's going to be honorable, because I'm going to be keeping them from attacking my men- Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm pretty sure he hit my shield and I still got knocked out. Oh well, I have my archers up on the walls right now. The, they have just a little over 20 left. We have 50 casualties, they have 182. 
We have a lot of wounded. A lot of wounded. A lot of them. Very many. Hmm. Overall, I feel like the battle is going quite well. Not a lot to complain about, it's just very difficult. As you can see, they uh, quickly sniped the men off the wall here, so... We're gonna need some more reinforcements before we can take out these last 20, which is annoying. They have so few men left and it's going to be such a struggle to take them. Oh, real? I think that guy just took an axe to the face from a Hooskarl. Alright, the Hooskarls are here. The day is saved. Look at this. Look, look at the kill list. Oh, they're so screwed. Alright, here comes the Hellfurians to clean up the last of the mess. Ten people left. Doesn't look like they can reinforce anymore. This castle is about to fall into our hands with a minimum amount of casualties, which is just like how we like to see it, rather. Alright. Look at that guy up on the wall there. Oh, sniped in the head. That leaves one guy. That leaves zero guys. Etrusk Castle is ours. It's ours. We lost six. Okay. S yeah, we lost. We kept our sword sister, which is good. I'll take you prisoner, of course. Okay, so uh, apparently, like a hundred mountain bandits got away. I guess a hundred of them didn't want to join us. Still, we saved the mountain bandit. Like the mountain bandit mother load, I don't even know what to call it, but that was insane. Right, that was a fun battle. Rolf, you're back in the game. You're back in the game. <laughs> I can fit six men in my party. I'll take a marksman, I will take a knight, I will take a guard, and another knight. Anything else that's top tier? Otherwise, I'll take this. Men at arms and one One more veteran footman not vaguer archer mm. <laughs> I guess I'll take the vaguer archer Serenid veteran Serenid horseman I'll take Okay, that is looking pretty good now. We'll take all of this Sweet. Nice. I should, maybe I should make um, Rhea Mal like us more. Alright, it's our castle now. So Etrosk is taken, which is good, it gives us this village. So if we take Kulmar, I'm guessing we're gonna get uh, this village. And then uh, Maris might give us this, which means that I think these four villages all belong to Yalen. So it might look like a lot, but in reality they just have two castles and one town left. And then after that, we are going to be very, very close with the Nords here. I'm just trying to think, like, who would be our next target? I'm guessing the Kurgits. They're very spread out. That's the thing now. Almost every faction, I would say, with the exception of the Serenids, are all over the world. The Serenids only really have this one, which is far away from home. So we'll see how the war goes. I think we'll see who the Nords are fighting and sort of join the Nords in battle against them. Somebody also said that once I've knocked out everybody but the Nords, I should end the series, that we should stay at peace with the Nords, and I like the idea. Because I'd hate to go against King Ragnar after all those barbecues we had together. Right now Etrusk does not have nearly enough of a garrison, so I'll need to tell somebody to watch this place. Aiden. Yes, I, uh, who should get a Trusk? I support, really, really well. <laughs> so who do you think should get it? I should get it, no. Can I give, uh, I don't think I can give it to somebody. Uh, let's see, uh, I want, I have a new task. Can you patrol around this little castle that we just took? A Trusk? Well, I will go straight over here. Right out, Hellfurians! So he should try and protect that a little bit at least. And how's Kulmar looking? You have 188 people plus... Oh, Herringoth! Hello, hello! I really like your castle, it's where my chick's hanging out. Let's see... 20, 50, 70... Mm. 
19, about a hundred crossbowmen. Uh, several Nords here, uh, not very scary Nords. Scariest is the warriors, but also a lot of like Nord archers, which is not bad. Well, I mean, it is bad, but it's not bad for us. Uh, I'd say this castle is gonna. F I'm, I'm not. I'm not very intimidated by this castle, uh, to be honest. Here, we need to build a siege tower, though. And because our engineers knocked out, it's actually gonna take some time. Yeah, I figured as much. I kind of gotta give this castle to somebody. Who? This guy. Let's hunt him down. Oh! Good to see you again. I didn't really want to fight him because I'm alone. So I'm gonna wait for some backup. There we go. My backup came. Why are we not fighting? Can you guys... Take... Kill him! Alright. Can I charge the enemy now? Good. That was kind of a... Messy it. Oh my... Okay. Hold on, everybody. Every I don't know about this. I don't want to go up that mountain and... Uh... Oh, they're all waiting. Well, they're all waiting for me, which is kind of good. Uh, sorry. Everyone, charge. Because I thought they were going to be coming over, and so I was scared of meeting them while I was going uphill and they were going downhill. But if they're going to be waiting for me, then I might as well charge at them and use that time as best as I can. Maybe I should have tried to go on around the mountains, but I didn't really think I could. Oh well, regardless. So, right now the situation is they're gonna be trying to take out a Trosk, and to build a siege tower, that's gonna take us a long time, so... I really wish our engineer could come back from being wounded, because that would decrease the time from 90 days, I mean 90 hours, to 56 hours, which is considerably less. But we also need to keep a Trosk. Oh, gee, that's a rain of arrows. Archers. And they're sniping my horse. Luckily I have this armored horse. Now also a mini unicorn. With one through the nose for a good measure. So he cannot smell the stench of Harold Hellfury. He has not bathed in many, many years, but he takes pride in that. Some warriors don't cut their hair until the war is won, and other warriors, well, they don't bathe at all. Wasn't that uh, like uh, the Norwegian uh, Viking king, uh, Harald Hårfag, that Wasn't that his thing? Like, he really wanted this one chick, and he was like, I will not cut my hair or beard until I've conquered all of... You know, the, the territory I'm in until there's no more resistance and stuff. Didn't he do that? I can't remember a lot from uh, from history class, but I don't know. Viking Age is fascinating times. Fascinating times. Yarg! And coincidentally, he, he was also named Harald, just like Harald Hellfury. I feel like Harald is a typical... Is a, it's a good Norwegian name. It's a good Norwegian name. Sounds good for a Viking, too. We're doing well here. I'm. I found this nice little spot on the mountain here, where I can actually achieve some speed on my horse, <laughs> and so I'm just kind of riding around in circles and utilizing the speed. Because the more speed we have, the better our blows are going to be. Oh, you blocked that, bastard! Oh, that looks like a count. That's a count if I've ever seen one. Uh, uh. Got him! God damn it! I hate hitting that button by accident. He's coming after me. He's mine! He's mine! Ugh. Yes, got him. Count Talbar. Knocked unconscious by Harold freaking Hellfury. Yeah. Terrible miss there. There's a lot of peasants here. I'll just go in and do some slashes here, I think. Get myself some easy kills. Some easy experience, and I'm kind of out. I can still get knocked unconscious, you know? So I'd rather not do that, because I think that means that it takes even longer for me to heal up. And I prefer it if I was all healed up for the next castle battle. As you can see, Rodox may not have a lot of... 
land the left. But that just means that their forces are all concentrated on one area instead of very many areas, so... It doesn't necessarily make it easier. Because when a nation is very big, it might be easy to take a castle that's kind of in the middle of nowhere and they don't have enough reinforcements nearby to send, they don't want to send everything from their capital. But I'm really considering maybe not em eliminating the Nords. We'll have to see how the series feel at that point, because I have a feeling that... You know, it is pretty much the same thing over and over again, so... We're probably gonna play this until people get, uh, tired of it. Let's see... Not a bad battle. Quite a good one. Aiden, we saved you. You are my prisoner now. Do 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 Sharpshooter... Train Girls Boy, I guess. I don't care too much, it's, it's just a matter of a little bit of cash right now. Battered full helm, that's actually a pretty good helm. I should try and give that to one of my companions, although I know that I'm going to forget about it. That's also a pretty good one. Alright. Pretty good. And now, I'm going to ride out here again. Target lost. Let's sell it. What's up, my man? Let me see your face. I mean skills. You're a tactics guy. Always useful. Tactics and trainer. Very nice. Alright, let's sell it. Let's give you a little upgrade, shall we? Where is it? Oh, you don't have the strength. You have the strength for this one, though. So we'll give you that. Old heater shield, cracked board shield. Is that... I, should, I probably shouldn't give him more, because it's going to slow him down. You have an okay horse, though. Alright, regardless. Mathel, I can't remember how good your helmet is, but you should have the strength to wear this. Oh, yes. Mathel. Mm -mm. You only have two riding. Stubborn saddle horse. This one has more speeds. This horse is a lot better. Why haven't I given this to you earlier? I'm guessing you don't even have... Yeah, you don't have the, the writing skill for that, which is okay, it's understandable. Burcha, you have that Nordic helmet, it's not the best. I'm not hating on your style, I'm just pointing it out. Can you use this? Yes, you can. Looking good. Just making sure my men are doing okay. Alright. And, of course, Behestri, also wearing that Nordic helmet. It's a battered one. I have a crude one, which is slightly better, it seems. True Nord. Alright. And let's... Okay. I think I checked out everybody there. When it comes to myself... Do I have engine? I don't... I'm not one of the engineers. I can't remember exactly who is an engineer here, though, so I need to quickly look at the skills. You're sort of an engineer, but I know I have somebody with like six engineer or something silly. I know Artemander had a lot of it, but I haven't had him in my party and I've still... Oh, Borcho is like our super surgeon, that's right. That's why we're not losing so many people. Does a companion's surgery skill work for your allies as well? Because I noticed that my allies almost never lose anybody. Ah, oh, it's Behestur. Alright, so we need to make sure that Behestur feels okay. I think he goes out of wounded state when he's at 20% health, maybe? All right. Regardless, a Trusk could really, really use some men. Might want to deploy a bit of a garrison there. Hmm. All right. I'm trying to think of what to do here. I don't want to go all the way back to Excal to tell somebody to be at a Trusk. I think I just need to. Since it's so close, I just need to make sure that I have somebody who can protect it, like Tansugai. Uh, let's see... I have a new task for you. 
Can you patrol around uh, the castle and make sure nobody takes it? Thank you. I trust you more than I trust anybody else right now, so... We're gonna besiege the castle and we're gonna wait around a little bit. Until the Hestier feels... Okay. Wait, who's battling right now? I hear something. I'm not sure. Is it Trosk okay? It looks okay, yeah. Tw uh, might just have to start the siege and... Let's just start building the siege tower and see what happens. Okay. So that's gonna it's gonna take too long. So we gotta wait. Alright, Pahestri is back. And now if we check out the castle, it should only take 54 hours. So a little over two days of standing around, which I don't like. There's enemies at Herringoth. Hmm. Alright, I'm holding my breath right now. <sighs> please, please. Montebor was defeated. Oh, they got backup coming. Oh my god, Oxcall is getting richer. <laughs> okay. Please, please, let me let me take it, let me take it, please, let me take it! Uh, they're gonna take something, they're gonna siege something any minute. I'm... I have five lords at my side. Rodox, what are you thinking? I'm standing with my army, all concentrated at one point. All you had to do was siege one of my castles and I would have come straight for you. Let's do this. Let's take the castle! Well, this is a slightly more difficult situation because it is a siege tower. All right. Okay, who invited the peasants? Seriously? God damn it. This is not going to be very good. We're gonna take some big casualties before we hit the wall. Our numbers are superior though. We should have around 500, 600 people, if not more. They have around 200. I really wish I could stop those hiccups, but that's what happens when you drink and talk. Well, at least for me. It's like I'm bugged. I have a weird graphical bug, but hopefully they'll fix that in the next patch of my life. That shield's gonna break soon. <laughs> Men! We are going to lose some today! But it does not matter! Because in the end, we will persevere! All right, we're actually getting some uh, some kills here, which is surprising. All right, we're halfway there. Keep pushing, keep pushing. We got this. As soon as that hits, I got to tell the archers to stand back. I got to tell my hell guard to follow me. All right, keep pushing the tower. Almost there. Oh god. Why can't more people like stand and hide behind it? I don't get that. Seems like a pretty solid thing to do in my book. How many have we lost? More or less 20. They lost four so far, so it's not going very well. Keep moving it! Keep moving it! Alright, all archers ready. We should be there soon. Alright. Archers, gather up there. Hellguards, follow me. Now let's wait for a few seconds and wait for some of the people here to go up. Hellguards, there we go. Alright, now let's follow them up. Same strategy as last time. You guys... You take out the first wave, you let me come past and I'll try to take out some of the crossbowmen, keeping our troops from advancing. I will take with me the Hellguard, and together we will persevere. Oh my god, this is a mess. Oh, gee. This one little tiny gap 
so tight. Oh god. Uh. Uh. Alright. I'm in. Alright. This is part of my plan. This is part of my plan. Now that I'm inside, I should have the Hellguard with me and they'll fight to uh, come to my side. This is perfect. If I go up here, I can take those out, because they don't look to be too strong. So I'm sort of the infiltrator right now. I might be like the most badass viking out there, but I can still do the stealthy tasks that needs to be done. It's gonna have to be the final battle of the episode. This episode's going on for a bit. I just get really caught up in this Rodakian war. It's been a bloody one. I found this more war much more enjoyable than the Swadian one, actually. It's just... it's been... really intense. So many takeovers, so many difficult crossbow encounters. Uh, there we go. It's just what I wanted. I had the element of surprise. They could not deal with it. I think my Hellguard is pretty lost, though. No, I have one with me. Who's this? Behestur. Alright, quickly. While they take the main force of the... Uh, well, they keep them busy there. We'll go over here and keep them occupied so they cannot fire at our troops. And this should go okay. I have Behestra at my side. Behestra, not really my main guy, but, you know, we, we're homies. We're homies. We're rolling all. We're cool. We're down with the sickness and all, so we're, we're just fine. Now, that's a lot of people down there. I'm going to take the rooftop men, though. So this is where they all hide. At least we know where the reinforcements are coming from right now. Alright, Pasture, are you with me? You! Mm. In the corner. Oh, these are Nord Huntsmen. Yeah, we got Nords here. Pathetic Nords. I mean, pathetic Nord Rangers. Like, if you don't pick up the sword in the Nordic societies, you're, you'll, be, you'll be shunned. Oh, damn. Got my shields. Alright. Thanks for making me lighter. Okay, now we cannot go down there, Behestir. That's too many people. Wait, you're not Behestir. Damn it, Behestir! What are you doing? Get down! Alright. Yeah, there's so many of them down there. I think I'm just gonna try and, like, keep them busy, distract them a bit. Maybe that's the best thing I can do at the moment. Until my forces can properly get over there. They're focusing on, like, one guy instead of taking out the main force, which is right here. Because I know that going down there is gonna be suicide. Then again, we could use a good distraction. Herald attack! Yeah! I landed on somebody to soften the uh, blow of the landing. Oh! Oh, got you. Er. Oh, damn it. Lost a crossbow. Yeah. Yep. This is very dangerous. Alright, now I have a lot of people after me. My shield's gonna break pretty soon. We got it, though. I'll keep them distracted so the rest of my men can come in. Can I please not die during one of these sieges? It would mean a lot for my self esteem. As both a Viking and a YouTuber. Uh. And down with the sick knees. Be, 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 be. Come on, get down with the sick knees. This is the Hellfurian Plague. The only sickness that's good for you. Yeah. And you're going down, Mr. Sergeant. I mean, Sergeant. Sergeant, don't don't ignore me, Senpai. Please, Rodak Senpai. Don't ignore me. I see what you're trying for, Mr. Lancer. You will not. Not on this day. Oh, 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 they got me. They got me. Oh, damn it. All right. I'm out of shields right now. I gotta get the shield. Yeah. Got it. Haha. -ha. I magically transformed it into my own emblem by the power of the Hell Fury. The Hell Fury is like the Force, but just for Hell Furians. Uh. Yeah. Here. Oh, damn it. All right. Back up, back up, back up. Oh. Alright. 
I just gotta stick to some one-on-one -on -one battles for now, because I don't have a lot of powers left. Oh. Yeah. You're smart. Down you fall. Good work, men. It looks like they're gonna be able to push back this wave that we have going on right now. We should be able to reinforce, though. I wanna check the numbers of men. Okay. They have deployed twice as many men as us. How's the casualties? The casualties are looking quite well. We've not lost a lot of men. They have, though. So right now, we just need to make sure that we can actually be able to get back. Ugh. I might get sniped here. I might. There's a real po Oh, damn it. There's a real possibility that I might die here. They're taking over the walls again, which is just what I didn't want to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Damn it. All right. At least I can get a good view of the wall here. As you can see, they're swarming back to their positions, which is very bad. We let them get their advantage back. We're reinforcing so late. We should. Re I hate the whole reinforcement thing because I have a much bigger army than them, but because of the reinforcement thing. We're sort of on even terms. Which we really shouldn't be. When I bring the bigger army, I should have like a bigger advantage. So they have lost 150 men, more or less. 160. We've lost 940, but we have like 100 wounded, so... This battle was pretty even, actually. Now we have a few more men than them, though. As, we, as you can see, we're able to take the walls pretty well here. Which is pretty good. I did get knocked out. Unfortunately, but I feel like I managed to uh, do quite well in this battle to keep all of the men off of us. It's good to be able to take the walls and sneak in, take out some of the uh, crossbowmen and do the best. Do the, do what you can for your soldiers and then just hope that they're uh, competent enough to do what is necessary. Alright. Now comes the fun part of the siege. <laughs> Waiting around, looking at numbers going down. So, I think this... I don't know if they can reinforce more now. I can't really remember how many men they had. This might be their last batch of men. We have a lot of wounded men. This battle was by no means a face roll. They fought valiantly. They fought back hard, and... Uh, it's clearly showing. They're not... They're not a bad faction, not at all. It's getting hot in here. The heat of battle, I assume. Alright. But overall, I feel like it's been a pretty good day here in the Mountain Blade universe. We've taken another castle, Rodax is slowly being pushed. Thing is, if I go into a battle unprepared and lose the main bulk of my force, I will lose the respect of my men and I will also lose the main bulk of my army. Which makes them capable of going back and taking what I've taken, because I haven't deployed a lot of garrison in like Etrusk and Almera and all of those places. I can still lose those. It's a very real possibility. Which is why I'm now so paranoid and I keep pushing and pushing and pushing. And those reinforcements should clear this up, because they have 17 men left. Oh. Man, there's been so much warfare, so much bloodshed. It's horrible. It's really horrible. No, but I'm really digging this game. Like, it just, it gets more and more fun. Like, bigger armies, more men at my side, and the enemies also keeping up with me, because they have big armies, but I finally feel like I can actually push back a little, and I like the relationship me and Ragnar have. Old Ragnaros, we're, we go way back. So many memories of barbecues, man. So, two hours and one energy drink later, I would say the Hellfury Legion has managed to get a good start of this um, initial war. Or not initial, but our second war with Rodox. We had needed a little break from the first one. And there we go. There might be more of them inside the castle, though. Let's see. We lost nine men. Who? Three? Who scarls? Two veterans? We lost a sister. Alright. Not too bad. Alright. Girth, I'll take you. I'm taking everybody I can right now. 
I probably hold most of them prisoner. I can't, I don't have space for anybody right now. It's fine, because I don't really need them either. <sighs> okay. Man at arms, I can't see any top tier units there, so I'll just take what's semi good. Serenid, Swadian Sharpshooter, Vega Horseman, Mercenary Crossbowmen, are they any good? I'll just, I'll take these, I think. Because I kind of have to. What else? Caravan Guard, Slave Driver. Who do I really want here? Well, I feel like the uh, peasant women, ha they have the potential to become sword sisters, so that's pretty good. Okay. All good. I will defer this so we I can get some people on my team here. As you can see, they are now running away, and we have taken, since we began this war two episodes ago, Almira Castle, Jelkala, Etrusk Castle and Kulmar Castle. The only remaining castle is Maris Castle right here. And it's situated... Mm, I don't like how it's situated. They probably have a lot of people retreated to this castle right here. And of course, Yalen, which is going to be their last... their last effort to stop the Helfurian wave that's coming across the country right now. Question is, if I push the attack straight away or if I... Um, Reinforce some more before we go because what if I'm occupied here and they decide to strike a Jelkala? What if the Serenids start getting frisky if I'm so scared of being attacked somewhere? So I kind of want this to be over with as soon as possible I feel like that's kind of what I'm going for right now But I need to go back should I go back to Ux call because I need to give this but I can't but a lot of questions about how we will um, Do this war <laughs> Look at this, everybody's riding out with me. Well guys and girls, tune into the next episode to see bleh, tune into the next episode to see possibly how the war will end. Or how Rodox will rise again and strike back. We'll see. Yeah, I should stop recording now, because all I got is hiccups. <sighs> Have a good day, take care and stay awesome. But most importantly, everybody, stay dark. Goodbye.